Okay, let's go over 1365. How many numbers are smaller than the current number? The question says, given array of numbers, so we have array of numbers, for each nums at index i, find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it, meaning the current number. That is, for each number at index i, you have to count the number of valid j such that j does not equal i and nums at j is less than nums at index i. So we have to, what this means is find a smaller number, smaller number. And what this saying is that can't count the current number when doing the operation. So we have an array, example one, eight, one, two, two, three. And why and when i is equal to zero, it's gonna be eight, right? So we're gonna disregard eight. We're not gonna count eight because it's telling us to ignore the uh, current number. Um, so let's just write, uh, just ignore. Let's work like this. Is one smaller than eight? Yes. Smaller than two? Smaller. Two is smaller. Three is smaller. So we have four smaller numbers. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's why we get a four for the first one. When i is equal to one, is a smaller? Nope. Is it's one? We're at one, right? So we're gonna ignore that. Two is it smaller? Nope. Two is not smaller. Three is not smaller. So we have four and zero because we don't have anything that's smaller than one. And when i is equal to two, we're at two. Eight smaller? Nope. Is one smaller? Yes, we're at two, so we're gonna ignore. Is two smaller? Nope, they're equal to each other, so nope. Three is not smaller, so we have four, zero, and one. When i is equal to three, it's two again, right? So we're gonna have the same thing, four, zero, one, and one. And last, i is equal to four, we're at three. Um, is eight smaller? Nope. One smaller? Yes. Two smaller? Yes two smaller yes and last one we don't count so we have one two three so our final result is four zero one one three and that's how we get our output right, guys let's code our example our solution now so as always first thing we do is declare our function which takes in a parameter nums array and i'm going to declare two variable uh, one is result and this is where we're going to store our result and another one is count and I'm going to set it equal to zero and count is going to count uh, how many numbers are smaller than the uh, current number so just gonna make a for loop start at index zero go to all the numbers in the array all right I'm just gonna make a variable current value is gonna be nums at index i and this cv current value is the one that we're gonna use to um, compare other numbers to to see if it's smaller or not and just gonna make another ver uh, for loop so this is a nested for loop so let j is equal to zero and j is less than nums dot length and j plus plus and just gonna make another variable let num is equal to nums j okay so the reason we made another for loop is because uh, we want to go through the array again and check if the current number at index j is smaller than number at index i. Um, if you guys remember the question, uh, that's what it kind of said. And we'll go over that again later. And now we want to check if the current value is less than the current number. And if it is, we're going to increase the count by one. And let's just return our result here. We're not done yet. Return result. Okay. So we're missing something, right? Um, what we're missing here is we want to push result dot push the count. And another thing is we want to reset our uh, the count variable when we're done with the inner loop. So count is equal to zero. Okay, so if you look at our examples, we get four zero one one three two one zero three and zero 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 zero. Okay, guys, let's go over our code one more time. So first thing we always do declare the function. This it takes an array, and we're gonna declare variable result, which is an array that's gonna store all the numbers that are smaller than the uh, current value. And count is going to count how many numbers are actually smaller than the current value. And when we're done. We're going to return our result. So first thing we want to do is 
um, we want to declare a make a for loop so that we can iterate to our array so if we have six five four eight we want to get the first number and we're gonna in the first uh, loop we're going to be going over each number so that we can compare this to this to this and this and we can compare uh, five to this one this one and this one four to this this and this and so on so after we get our current value cv is equal to six what we do is uh, in the inner loop over here we make a nums variable and we go through the array one more time and we check whether if it's bigger than the current value or not and if it is we're gonna increase the count by one so working with this current example so when num is six is it bigger i mean is it smaller no it's not when num is equal to uh, five is it smaller yes num is equal to four is it smaller yes num is last one is um eight is it smaller nope so that's not correct so this is our result we have two here right and next we exit out of this loop and go back up again so our current value is gonna be equal to five and the norm is going to be uh, six which is not true uh, five nope four yes eight nope so we push in one. Oh yeah and another thing I, for I forgot to tell you so after we uh, loop out of the inner for loop uh, we hit these two code right so we push in the count variable into our result so when we got two here we push this over here and then we set count to zero um, if you don't reset count to zero it's cool. the next one is gonna be two uh three when we get one here and we don't want that right this is this is wrong that's so so in order for us to get the uh, right number of uh, smaller numbers we have to reset count over here and so we have two and one uh, when current value is equal to four and num is equal to six five four eight none of, none of them are smaller so we get a zero here and lastly when current value is equal to eight um nums or num is going to be six five four eight uh is it smaller yes yes and yes we don't count this one and it, it's not even smaller so we get three here we got zero here and we push in three here and we get our result and we return this so current value you guys see this one right current value uh, this is the first loop using index i over here and you you guys see the numbers here right nums this is the uh, second loop that goes over and checks whether if the current num is smaller than or bigger than or smaller than or actually um smaller than yeah because i did a uh, current value is less than num it checks um if the number is smaller than the current value